there wasn't a lot of science behind this. I just decided that nine inches was a pretty good size for how tall the bricks should be. And then I just randomly spaced different sizes in between to go horizontally. Once it was time to actually apply paint, I used a medium gray to go over everything with a seafoam sponge. This was a cheapo $2 knockoff can that we found at the ReStore. And the seafoam sponge doesn't use much paint, so one gallon is plenty for one bedroom. Then I come back over with a darker gray and make a little L shape on each brick. Again, this was a knockoff paint that was really cheap. Pro trick, if you go to Lowe's and it's not the exact color you want, you can actually have them retouch it and they'll do it and not upcharge you. And then the last painting step is I take my medium gray again with the seafoam sponge and go back over it one more time. This just helps to add a little texture and really finalize the look of stone. And then I peel all the tape and check out the finished product. Eh? Eh? Yeah?